Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Animus J and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. This is specific to Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Minecraft Pocket Edition, Windows 10 Edition, all of those this tutorial will apply to. I do not know if this will work in Java because the timings on Bedrock are very different than Java. But what this is, is it's an intelligent minecart loader and unloader. So what does that mean? What it means is I've got a chest here with a whole bunch of coal in it and I've got a hopper minecart. What I want is I want this hopper minecart to become full of coal. Can I bump it please? Thanks. <laughs> and so what it's going to do is it's going to sit here and it's going to load up with all the stuff that I have inside of my chest. Now until this hopper minecart is completely full, it's not going to budge. So once it is full, the piston retracts, the minecart goes on its way, it comes over to this unloading system, and even though it doesn't look like it's above this hopper, it is actually unloading. So if we go ahead and speed this process up a little bit, now until this hopper minecart is completely empty, it's just gonna sit right there. Once it is empty, you can see, boom, it goes back along its way and it refills again. Now, I do want to mention that you may run into some problems in building this, not relative to the design, but relative to, well, hashtag bedrock bugs, okay? There are some very weird things with minecarts in Bedrock Edition. I don't know why it happens, but it does happen. So if you build yours and you're running into issues, check out the end of this video, stick it through, watch it all the way through, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over what you can do in order to fix some of those bugs you might be experiencing. So I'm assuming you already have a plan for where your rails are going to be laid out. You just want to make sure that you don't have any powered rails going directly into your minecart loading system. Rather, you want normal rails, and then the first rail for your loading system is going to be a detector rail. After your detector rail, you're going to place a powered rail followed by a block, and then you're going to place another rail of any kind on top of that block, and then you're just going to break it. We just wanted to have your powered rail be slanted against the block like it is right now. Go ahead and take a hopper and place it right above that powered rail facing down into it. Grab a comparator, face it away from your detector rail. Then you're gonna place a block on the other end of your comparator and you're gonna put a redstone torch on top of it. Come around to that side, you're gonna place a redstone torch against the block that your powered rail is leaning against and then you're just gonna connect your comparator and that torch with a single piece of redstone dust. Last thing you're gonna do is you're going to take a piston and place it against that torch and it's going to extend just like so. Now, if you need a method for loading up objects into your system, then of course, go ahead and grab a chest, shulker box, whatever it is that you need and place it above that hopper so that you can fill it up with whatever it is that you're trying to transport. So this part of the system is done. Let's talk about how it actually works. If I nudge my rail, or excuse me, my minecart into it, you can see that it gets stuck. It's both taking up the space of the detector rail and the powered rail kind of at the same time the hopper is loading into our hopper minecart and what it's doing is the comparator is checking how many items are inside of our hopper minecart this signal right here is telling the comparator that it has a compare line of 15 so until this hopper minecart is completely full it is not going to power this comparator once it is completely full it will power the comparator which will depower this torch which will allow the piston to retract sending it on its way once the minecart goes along its way then the comparator will realize there's nothing there it'll turn off turn back on the torch which will re-extend the piston if you don't understand the details of how that comparator does all of that go ahead and check out my detailed video on how do minecraft comparators work where we go over every single aspect of how a comparator does what it does and why it does it and same as before with the unloading system as it was with the loading system you're going to want to make sure you have normal rails coming into it and what we're going to do is we're going to make the same shape twice but we're going to make it upside down and that shape is everybody's absolute favorite shape in tetris and it is this one right here you can break that one out if you want to it's not necessary but what we're going to do is we're going to place a chest and then we're actually going to make that same shape, but we're going to make it upside down like so. 
So you should have it facing up, a chest, and then facing down. And this is just the easiest way to remember how to build this. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take regular rails and you're going to place them going up, powered rail coming down, and then a hopper facing into your chest with a powered rail on top of it. Make sure that you sneak when you place that powered rail in order to place it rather than look inside the hopper. Next thing you're gonna do is underneath that first block, you're gonna put a comparator facing away from your hopper, come around the other direction and place a repeater that's going to face back into the block that's facing your powered rail. And then underneath the end of it, you're just gonna place a redstone torch. Now you can see that's powered our rails and what that's going to do is while the, the hopper minecart is unloading, basically while there's anything inside of this hopper, the comparator is going to power, which will invert your redstone torch, which will turn off the repeater, turning off your activator rails, allowing your hopper minecart to sit there while it is unloading. Then when it's done unloading and everything is empty, you can see we depower the comparator, power the torch, power the repeater, power the rails, and send the hopper minecart along its way. So let's go ahead and give this a full system test really quick. Let's load up our chest with a whole bunch of coal. Nudge it along its way. And you can see it is filling up. If we go ahead and speed up the process, our minecart gets sent along its way and it gets stuck right here even though it doesn't look like it it is actually unloading so you can see we do have coal moving through let's go ahead and speed that process up and there we go it returns back to the source so if you've gotten to this point you're either a loyal fan who wants to see the entire video because you just love hearing my voice so much or otherwise you've run into some problems so let's talk about what those problems most likely are for some reason in bedrock there are things that just don't work the way that they're supposed to the reason i have this wool here was actually to mark out the exact places that i needed in order to make these systems work the way that they were supposed to so what I'm going to do, you can see this wool is lined up with the detector rail. And if you're having a problem on your loading system, it's probably that your minecart is coming in and bouncing right back out again. The way to fix that is to move it back by one block or move it forward by one block. So mine is currently working. You can see if I nudge my cart into there, it stops like it's supposed to. What I'm going to do just to demonstrate to you how absolutely ridiculous this actually is, is I'm going to place my detector rail one block forward. And I know some of you clever people are thinking, oh, that's because of the speed of your rails, where how fast your minecart is going. And believe me, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. So I'm going to rebuild this now one block forward of where it already is right now, and I'll show you what happens. And here we are with everything rebuilt one block forward exactly, and I'll even go ahead and replace this with a normal rail, rail to show you guys that it is not actually the speed of the minecart coming into it. So everything is rebuilt. The detector rail is now one block forward of my wool and I have placed a whole bunch of coal into both the hopper and the chest. And if I shove this in there, watch what happens. In and back out again. Why? I don't know why. Something with bedrock timings. Now, you may run into the same exact issue down here on your unloading system. If I were to move all of this one block forward or backwards of this gray wool, for some reason, my hopper minecart just bounces right back out again. But with it being... Now, listen, this isn't an exact spot. It's just that it works here, doesn't work here. Works here, doesn't work here. So I don't know if it's an even number, odd number, something with the math. I don't know. No. If you're having issues beyond this, one thing that you can do to help your unloading system is you can replace this block right here with a piece of soul sand. By placing soul sand up here or replacing it in this block right here, but probably not both because that's going to slow it down too much. What it does is it slows down your hopper minecart and enables it to sit a little bit easier into this area. So if you're having trouble still after moving it by one block, try replacing one of these two blocks with soul sand and that should get you going along your way. 
So bugs aside, that is it for this video, you guys. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. But that's it, guys. I'm Animus J. I'll see you next time.